looks like someone is not going to make this easy for me. Mitsunari! What are you planning? Why is we here? Mm -hmm. Dark Stone! You didn't! I should have expected the great Tenkai be able to figure it out. Why you? Ah, Tenkai and old Jubei. You stand in the way of our world domination. Such pests. Your interference bothers me.
Welcome to Owning Musha, the Owning Dreams. This is can I exit out this thing, please? Thank you. This is my favorite Owning Musha game. I love this game so much, man. This game got me into the series. I know a lot of people don't like Owning Musha, the Owning Dreams. But here's what I gotta say to that though. Fuck you, people. Okay, fuck you, people who don't like Owning Dreams. Nah, I'm just playing. But I, I like, I love Owning Dreams. You know. I think a lot of people hate Owning Dreams because it's, I think it's like too too much different you know that it's like, there's like rpg rpg elements and stuff like that but if it was for dawn and dreams you know i would never never would have never probably would have played the, the other onimushi games this game is great i love it man and it's sick ass theme in the beginning the intro was good everything about this game is just so good i do like the old ones too you know one and two was pretty good. When I when I first played Onimusha one, that was back in like 2000, maybe 2004. When this game came out, 2004, or 2006 maybe. I think Dawn of Dreams came out in 2006. I, I probably played it around 2008. So analog control was still a, was pretty much a standard. And um, when I went back and played the old games, it was kind of kind of jarring. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I wasn't used to the tech controls, so I was like, I was around 12 or 13 when I first played this game, cause I was still in middle school. Everything about this game is great though. I love this game so much, man. From that great intro. I mean, it, it doesn't beat Onimusha 3. Onimusha 3 intro was amazing, yo. <laughs> that intro was amazing, man. But I do love Soki's theme. It's really great. I think I think all the themes in this game is pretty good. All the character themes. Roberto, uh, Jubei. It's, it's just all good, you know. I think towards the end, the last boss is really kind of kind of weak compared to the other ones. Then again, Onimusha one through three all all had Nobunaga to fight, so I mean it's not really. Well, besides one, Onimusha one didn't have that. I think Onimusha two and three had Nobunaga final bosses. But this game is great. I love it, man. And it's a lot easier to parry enemies on here. Let's see if I can actually do that. I don't think they're gonna charge me. If it's taking a very long time to attack. Pretty much just sitting there, so I was waiting for him to waiting for him to attack, but I guess they didn't do anything. And that's slow mode though. Black Oni. Oh, wait. Oh, well, I cannot block that. Can I block that? Did I get hit by that thing or something else? I don't think I can block that, actually. I think I got to sidestep this. Because I don't think I can block that. Whoa, whoa, camera change. Oh, hold on. That kind of confused me. Don't. No. Wait. Oh, my God. I thought you cannot... You can't block when it does that. You know, like you can't block from the back. Like other games, other games you can block from the back. Like you can block from the forward. You can block a back attack. Like you can't do this in this game. You gotta block, block in the direction the enemy's attacking. Oh, get away, get away! Oof. Oh. I love this game. I know I said this like 30 times already, but the game is great. Oh! There we go. 
See, I should block that one. Come on, attack me. What you doing? Oh! What you doing? What you doing? Come on. Oh yeah, come on. Oh! Shooting that balls at me. Shooting purple balls at me. It should be the last cycle. Oh! Hell! Oh! Almost got me there, partner, but she didn't get me though. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. And get this over with. Oh shit! Got me that time though. Come on, Soki, get up. I'm at, yep. Okay, I fucked up. Now I gotta do another cycle. That should have. That would have been the last cycle, but I got hit. There we go. Level four. of warring states. Nobunaga had attempted to unite the lands under his rule using the Genma. However, the Onimusha were able to halt his blind ambition. Nobunaga perished amidst the flames at Honoji Temple. The massive army of Genma that had plagued the land vanished. After Nobunaga's demise, his retainer, Hideyoshi Toyotomi, united Japan. It seemed that he had finally put a stop to the fear and panic that came with the age of warring states, bringing a much welcomed peace. Overnight, the omen star appeared in the sky. That day, Hideyoshi was overcome by a mysterious change, and Japan was once again thrown into chaos. The repeated massacres on the continent. The slaughter of everyone on board the captured western ship San Felipe. The banishment of foreigners and the executions of holy men. A tempest rages through the land yet again under Hideyoshi. Meanwhile, a great earthquake rocks Fushimi Castle in Kyoto. In its wake, other catastrophes wreak havoc across Japan. The peace is shattered, and nothing is left untouched. As if called forth by the terror brewing in human hearts, Genma begin to reappear, slaughtering all in their path, bringing panic and despair to the world. Fifteen ninety-eight. Mocking the destruction of the world, the omen star appears, shining bright in the heavens, foreshadowing something sinister.
Come on. Hey, Minokichi. Yep. Are you ready? Yep, I'm fully prepared. We're going to do this just like we planned. Right. Young one, what business do you have? Oh, great and noble warrior, I beseech you to spare your precious time and listen to my humble request. <laughs> Cute. You may speak. Would you just drop the goods and go home? What did you say? Ruffian, you do know these belong to Lord Hideyoshi. Right, Lord Hideyoshi. Leave the cherry trees where they are and I might let you live, Danyemon. How did you know my name? I've spilled the blood of countless enemies. You shall pay for your insolence! <laughs> Please, you don't stand a chance against me. Leave him to me. The rest of you, take this to the fortress in Saruga. Sorry, I'm afraid not. Guess you won't be going that way, huh? Are you going to head back? Challenge me. Hmm? Ugh, it reeks. Hey, you didn't eat the bugs, did you? A present from my lord. These bugs give me the ability to fight, and I have had my fill. The more of them I eat, the stronger I become. So... You did eat them. Well, I guess that means... I have to kill you. You know too much, thief. You've made yourself a dangerous enemy. Prepare for a painful death. You know my name. Now it is time to tell me your... My name, eh? My name is none of your concern! Like this voice acting is so is so damn Ugh. I, I. Yeah. so the easy way to beat this dude is just um back step and forward step personally every time he swings back step and that's kind of a bad example there we go see he fights like the owner and leads a swamp of great cherry trees in his path. So he has received the name Soki, meaning Oni of the Ash. Inspiring all reminiscent of the Oni, he cuts three darkness with his gigantic blades, showing his enemy no mercy. Why does he have? What drives him to burn the cherry trees down? Nobody knows. So I forgot to be quiet. That lady was talking and I want to be quiet. God damn it. I probably should, I probably should definitely start blocking that when I don't have enough time to backstep. Ooh, dude, his swing is so damn delayed. Delayed, man, with the flip. Oh, can't block that shit though. I done fucked up. And I paid the price. Shocking! Oh, nice! Nice. That was nice, yo. That was beautiful, dude. That was nice. Oh shit, no! That dude can still hit you when he does that. My name is Soki, the Oni of the Ash. I wish you better luck in the next life, Danyemon. Minokichi. Yeah? Get ready. All right.
He just dispatched the infested animal with ease. He must be the blue demon that's destroying Lord Hideyoshi's trees. Quite formidable. But he's not my problem. Should I kill him anyway? It's... it's him. I finally found him. What? <sighs> what a coincidence. The blue demon is famous for being a traitor to Lord Hideyoshi. If that's the case, maybe I shouldn't be so quick to cut him down. It looks like we need to find another batch of cherry trees. Time to go. This is the only way to do it! I know... <laughs> 